So you've grown attached to a circumstance or you have fallen in love and now you are kind of placed underneath a spell. This person occupies free space on your mind. Most of your thoughts are about them. You become emotional about them. You lose the ability to think straight and act in ways you just normally would not have. And most of all, you want them there. You want them in your presence and you want their attention. It's like you have placed this external thing in your life permanently and you don't even know it. See, love is the one thing where we want to find it, keep it, and learn how to let it go. But what happens when you can't let it go? Nine times out of ten, your imagination is worse than your reality. The real reason why you can't let it go, it is your own selfish need to control, is the true reason why you won't let it go. It's not even about the well-being of the other party. It's for you. You want them for your own selfish gain, even though you may say, but, but I love him. I have good intentions. I mean well. You know, but if that person doesn't want to be with you anymore, like they're gone, but mentally, that's what you're doing. Your name is Joe Goldberg. And this is an episode of you because you mentally got somebody locked in a glass cage that want to get out and you won't let them out. I am locked in a glass cage. Everything I have done, I have done for you. Even this. They bring up something called closure. Well, I just need closure. Let me just, you know, talk to them one last time. But you often want closure because you had needs that weren't met. You gave more than you got and now you feel as though you are old. You are old an explanation. You are old uh, a reason why I'm old one last time or you feel like they owe you more time. Just because you have history with somebody, that does not mean you have to force a future. They're the past and that, that's where they stay. You have to separate you know, childhood from adulthood or you know, then and now. They don't owe you anything. And now it's time to, you know, get to know yourself, love yourself, get to know that woman that was lost in this, you know, emotional whirlwind. Don't you want someone that wants you? That's why I let people go fast. I mean, the moment you show me you ain't happy or you don't want to be with me or you stop texting me, I, I, I don't question it. I'm like, nope, I want a man that want me. Go find yourself a better man, a, a, a different circumstance, you know. Um, occupy that free time, you know, fill up your schedule, stay busy, focus on yourself, go put on some makeup, look good, smell good, worry about your goals, your goals, then recognize and love who you are. And now that you know who you are, because you have spent time with ourselves, ladies, a lot of reasons why we jump into relationships or we get lost in them is because we don't know ourselves. We we are who they want us to be. You know, sometimes most women become who their parents told them to, what society told them to do. And you know, you're, you you reach a certain age, and now your family's putting pressure on you to get in a relationship. Or I've been lonely too long, and then you just end up settling, or you want to go back. You know, but gotta learn how to let it go, and just it's more to life than a man's attention. And even if it it doesn't relate to um, romantic love. Just whatever circumstance you feel like you can't let go, what are you getting out of it holding on? You've identified, you know, why. And, you know, you forgive yourself and just focus on yourself. You are the main character. And the main character cannot sit here worrying about these supporting, you know, cast members and, and characters. Like, you are Will Smith. You are Angelina Jolie. You know, you the main character. And we ain't got time to be worried about these these extras. They don't want to be there, let them go. Let them go. They don't want to be there, let them go. He's not giving you what you want, let them go. Just just, just let it go. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it or whatever circumstance. Find something else to do. Take up a class. Turn on a series on Netflix. Find something. Learn how to sew. Get a drink. You know, get dressed. Get up. Shake your ass. Do something. Don't think about him no more. Sadly, the reason why you can't let go is because you feel as though you are old. Like they owe you something now. Like, oh, I did all this and I gave my all and I was always there and I always cared. And now you feel like they owe you some of that energy. And unfortunately, a lot of people, they do not, you know. 
That's why you have to monitor how much of your energy you give out, how much attention you give out, how much you care, because caring costs you, baby. Caring costs you. Watch who you care for because caring costs. So even though somebody may be nice or they may be a family member or whatever, you got to really, hmm, is this worth it in the end if I do all of this for this person? Because sometimes it's not like maybe we do a favor or two. But again, when we love somebody, you know, we want to fulfill all the requests. We want to, you know, make them happy in every way. And sometimes we overgive. And then sometimes when the relationship ends <laughs> or you didn't get what you wanted, you know, you're looking back on it and now you feel like they owe you and they don't. So, all right, you guys. So hopefully you guys took something from this video today. So just, just let it go. Find something else to do. Pick up a hobby. Pray. Remember, without a doubt, you are beautiful inside and out. Let it go.